What is going on guys, Wiser here, and I am coming to you with One Hive Labs Slay My Base Review Episode 4, so I'm obviously here with the man, k Dyke. how you doing my friend? Hey man, doing good, glad to be back. Yeah, always a good time we can have on these series, because uh, you know we're getting a really good response from people, uh, getting a lot of emails, looking through stuff guys, so again, I just want to say be patient, uh, we're going to continue to pump these out, so uh, it may be uh, quite a few weeks before we actually get your base out there, but uh, again, and just sit tight. Uh, let's just jump right into this because these can be a lengthy videos, that's for sure. Uh, looking at this first base we got up on the board, um, let's start it off with our checklist here, the Queen Chamber. How's it looking? Yeah, man, let's go. Um, first of all, she's uh, embedded quite deeply into the base. That's, that's a good thing. I mean, uh, there's no way for an enemy queen to walk past, get her... Um, you made it very tough for dragons to come in. I mean, there's air defense over here with a, a sweeper pointing this way. Uh, it's pointed like this approximately, maybe a bit off. I mean, there's an air defense over there as well. So a lot of the uh, the queen compartment is uh, actually uh, covered with air defenses. And even a black mine over here, both protecting the air defense and uh, the queen. So the queen is very well protected. Um... She is three spaces away from every side. Um, is there a way she could chase any golems in here? Not really, I don't think so. So yeah, she won't jump the, the wall most likely. Um, the only thing I'd say is uh, that there's storage just inside of her compartment. And I'm never a big fan of those. I mean, uh, we explained before that um, once enemy troops target, um, maybe not the corner building, but at least um, these two, the enemy queen, uh, your queen will engage the troop enemy troops and yeah they're just gonna ignore the swords and uh, go on top of the uh or your queen so it's kind of a wasted wasted storage over there so i would move it anything else you have to add um uh no i just it is a very deep queen chamber i mean you, there's there's just so much on the outside here um I don't know that to me, if I was looking at this base, there's just within this, right? Like that's, that's a, a huge percentage, huge percentage of the base. Um, so she has obviously defended very well, but at the same time, you could send a really heavy kill squad of stones or with Valks, you know, in there and they're going to get big, big, big time value. So you think if you just have to hog the rest of this, you got to figure something out for that, obviously. Um, but we'll we'll get there as we kind of move on. I just think it's probably a little too much value, even just the uh, amount of walls you're using to to defend that queen chamber um, is fairly. Might be too many opinion. in this case, yes. Yeah. Because also the, these walls are out quite far. It's a good thing that there's two spaces in here, so you just can't wall breaker it easily. Um, but then again, it's a lot of way, uh, walls uh, invested in just your queen. Uh, and then again, uh, there's this red bomb over here and the black mine. I mentioned this one to be pretty good against dragons. But then again, this sweeper is preventing dragons from coming in from this direction. And if you were to have a laloon on this base, um, these two air defenses are quite close to the queen. So you could actually do uh, a shattered entry, even though I don't think it's feasible because of all the storages here. I mean, all the storages are there. Yeah, that would be a stretch for sure. So... It wouldn't happen, but still, if it were to happen, it most likely uh, be a cold-blooded entry from this angle, taking out uh, yeah the air defense over there, the sweeper over there uh, by the hands of the queen, and a jump spell over here towards the king. So that black mine over there uh, is most likely useless. So either place it like, for example, over here, um, or double up on, on another uh, air defense like over there, or... Like one of the, the air defenses furthest away from the queen. Same story kind of goes for this one. Um, but that one is less likely to be targeted. Uh, it's still same story actually because an entry still here still works. And then again, this uh, red bomb at the queen. Um, just imagine what it's going to soak up. I mean, what what is it going to target? I don't see any valuable troop coming over... And triggering it. I mean, if there's a lava hound on top of the air defense, it will split, and that's quite a wide circle. It's something like this. 
So try to keep those circles clear of red bombs if possible. It's hard yeah. to do, I know, but if I, at all possible, I personally would rather double up the red bombs or or throw one over by those Teslas over there. Yep, I agree. So let's move on towards the compartments. Yeah. Um, there's 12 compartments I counted in this base. Correct me if I'm wrong. So that's a, a very nice amount. I mean, that means it's a, a pretty compact base. Uh, you can see that there's a couple of defenses on the outside. Um, so yeah, a good amount of compartments. This will probably hold up against a, a pretty good go, go wipe even. Um, the only issue I spotted on this base, I mean, actually you spotted it, Wiser, that's this wall. That wall in itself, I mean, it's a mistake I have made in the past. Uh, this can be earthquake. I mean, it's seven or eight spaces long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces long. So you could even jump it, but that won't happen. But if you quake this, there's one, two, three, four giant bombs and the queen exposed. And all four air defenses. And, like, you and just, all air defenses, yeah. yes, absolutely. Um, now, I, I bet when this guy built the base, he probably started with this compartment, which is a great compartment at first. But then as he was building the base, I bet this wall then got added somewhere and you just seem to forget you're reducing you're reducing the wall count there, right? Like you, you, you initially started with the properly sized compartment, but then somewhere along the line that wall got added in there. And that is a very crucial, crucial intersection of the base, we'll just say. Yeah, it is. Um, I've made, as I said, I've made this mistake quite often. Um, yeah, it's just the, the, the reason why this is bad. Um, I mean, I'm not saying this wall is bad or uh, this wall is bad. I mean, they're good walls. The reason why uh, in this case it's bad is because all of the giant bombs are exposed. So if there's a way to either spread out the base more, so a giant bomb would be over there, for example, and one over here and the double set over here, then it's fine. I mean, this just adds another compartment and basically forcing a, an earthquake. And that's a good thing. So keep in mind that uh, having a wall earthquake ball might not always be a bad thing. Like uh, this is a very good example of it. That quake in this case does get three uh, giant bombs, but then again it doesn't get the queen. So in this case, it's, uh, in my opinion, that's a very good trade-off. Um, so keep an eye out for those value uh, earthquakes. That's basically what I'm saying. Anything else to add to that, Wiser? Um, no, I, I, I mean, obviously the compartments is a, is a big thing. And I think uh, anyone who spotted that would really exploit that is specifically in enjoyment with what I talked about initially, right? That, so that earthquake on top of the fact that you're going to be coming in heavy here, just lets you now, and it changes that <laughs> to pretty much that. <laughs> if you know what I'm, if you know what I mean. Yeah, it does. Yeah, and especially because these buildings are touching, these buildings are touching. Um, those sources will go down really quickly when you're bringing Valkyries. Absolutely. I mean, this Under too. Air defense is a very high uh, deep uh, HP the, target as well. The th the other thing is too. There's so many high hit points there. Like, look at the DPS. All the Teslas are on the outside, right? There's yeah. nothing like Valks under a heel there are going to come out of like completely full health. Yeah, whenever, I think so. Right? Because if yeah. there's a golem here, do golem here, those golems will probably die around this section, maybe get uh, over here, but they will die out and that's fine. I mean, all of the Valks are alive. They will, they will rip through the remainder of this. Yeah. So yeah, absolutely. So that's like the double whammy, right? The, the fact that you have so much on your entry uh, combined with that earthquake uh, gives really good extra, even better value to to that initial kill squad. So I think things need to be spread out a little bit more from on on that side. Yes, I agree. Um, we'll get to another point later. So let's first um, focus on the air defenses and the Laloon defense. We've kind of touched on we it uh, on already yeah. with the, the, the cold-blooded entries. Uh, which are very possible still. And uh, what I also spotted is these uh, sweepers. They're pointing out and their value isn't that high. I mean, um, I, I really get the feel of this sweeper. 
because it also uh, deters someone from queen walking that area. I mean, it ju it's just out there. So that's a very good sweeper, in my opinion. Uh, also deters dragons. Um, but this one doesn't really do anything. I think that if a, cha a queen charge were to come in on this base, it would be from this angle. And you would break this open and then just kind of let her do her thing and maybe jump this or something like it. And that would net you this air defense um, and this air defense also and the queen. But that's a stretch. Uh, but just imagine. Um, I, ima I, I think this sweeper was meant to prevent the queen walk on this side, which is fine. Yeah. Um, but it, it, the sacrifice, in my opinion, is too big in this case. Well, I think I think a huge theme of this base is <laughs> just everything is is meant to prevent <laughs> right anything from happening to that to the like, queen. Like that's yeah. it. Um, that that's the base you need to take out, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, but well, nothing's yep. nothing's walkable, right? Like every, nope. all their defenses are good. Uh, I'm not a huge Absolutely. huge fan of um, two air defenses in one compartment, especially with that as well in there. Um, I don't know. I think that compartment is is a very high valuable compartment, even though it is uh, protected decent decently well, right? Definitely. Yeah. I mean, in wars, I've seen people break a wall first then quake a wall like this and go for it because they can get two air defense in one compartment and the queen. Mm -hmm. So a max attack would actually be very viable in this base while quaking the outside. And uh, that's only because these two air defenses are in uh, one compartment. Yeah, a very good spot there. I didn't even realize it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Even just, hell, just a jump. <laughs> like... Yeah, just to jump does the trick. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You could even uh, with Velks do a max with Velks. I'd love to do it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Other than that, that uh, the wizard towers are out of range of the air defenses. Yeah, Maybe I was this one's a bit that. close, but that's okay. I mean, that's that's very good. It makes someone second guess himself when uh, going for an air attack. I mean, this is a, a good loon trap over here. I mean, the loons are going to clump up either over here towards uh, there or split off. Or most likely coming from this angle, because the sweeper is pointing that way. Um, You'll take down quite they, a few balloons. Like, yeah, no I will take out. out. Yeah. But then again, try to double up on those red bombs because um, with only one red bomb, the loons actually have a chance of killing the wizard tower in time, and that's disastrous. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that would be a great spot. That's what I was saying too, right? Just throw that, yeah. double that up, or double even double that one up at the same time. Same deal. Exactly. So next thing, <clears throat> let's go to towards the giant bombs. Um, first thing I see is the double set over here. And, um, well, let's just say, imagine an entry uh, dropping like three hogs over there and then three hogs over here. Uh, they'll, they're most likely to path in, um, but if, and that's a big if, you were to come in from this angle and they path down. You have a shot, even though it's a very minor shot. Yeah, is, is that safe enough? I'm just thinking out loud. It's, it's I risky. I think that's really risky. I would never have that arch tower there, ever. Just, I was thinking about that earlier in, com in combination, right, with a, a Valk attack, that earthquake, and you're going to try and hog the rest. Well, how do you defuse that DGB? Personally, I would drop maybe five hogs there and then wait until the mortar goes down. They're going to hop in out of those Teslas and try and time it about the same time. So I think if that Tesla goes down, then that Archer tower goes down. Even if they hop that wall, there's, there's still a chance. I don't know. I, I, I think it's, it's a very much. slim chance. I think overall the bathing should be correct. Right. Um, but the thing I have actually do have a problem with is that if they bath, look at it, uh, they might even split here to watch the South and they path like oh, this. Yeah, they will never trigger thing. because mm -hmm. these two buildings are touching as well. So that's the actual problem of the DGB. Uh, whatever angle you come in from the south, even this angle, they will path it. like this and turn away from the DGB. And then that would even be more disastrous from the south because they're going to go there and then up and then from that archer tower, if that sweeper's down, they're going to cut right Then they will, they will trigger across. So yeah. they will both uh, trigger the, the set actually. Yeah. But 
then again, um, if this section of the base is taken out with the hogs, um, chances are you got your value you needed. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so then again, there's these two bombs over here. They're quite nicely placed. Um, I do this trick sometimes with a giant bomb next to a spring. It works, but um, you're like three, four of the spring traps are five even are in just this small section. So um, a queen walk in that section is immensely valuable. So if you're able to get a queen walk going this way to to take out that sweeper in time before it becomes an issue, um, maybe even break her in in this area to take out the air defense as well, um, that would mean that five of your six spring traps are diffused, which is about 16 hogs. I mean... Uh, 15 hogs and if you take it into account that that one is also over there yeah i think most of the he, springs will be made ineffective he could create like at least he want like if you just move this archer tower against that wall and that expo against that wall you got a per there. perfect spring trap spot definitely and uh even more important uh, the hogs are more likely to path from the expo towards the air defense. I was just going to say that. Yeah, that's that. That was why initially I was looking at it, and then you mentioned all the spring traps over there, and I start looking to see compartments. I mean, maybe I mean you could swap this king and cannon maybe, and get one in between the cannon and whiz tower. There, there is some space, but I think a big theme is the initial the fact that in my opinion, there's just too many walls over here, and you could create sort of larger compartments elsewhere so you can make better spring trap spots. Yes, absolutely. I think that if this is a change, uh, I mean, keep in mind, this is a good queen chamber. I yes. mean, she's not going to jump over. She's well protected. So Perfect size. great job there. The, the, the reason why we're still mentioning this is because um, even if this, uh, I mean, if it's a bad compartment, um, the rest of the base gets messed up by it. And in this case, it's more detail-focused, I should say, um, but still the same effects apply throughout the base. Yeah. Um, so, then again, we've kind of mentioned spring traps. Uh, once again, I just want to point out, these springs, they're all very well placed. Yes, absolutely. So that's a big plus. Even though they're on one side of the, the base, they're very well placed. Yeah. So... Um, yeah, Which is probably that. more of an important thing than having them spread out if you kind of had to choose between the one. But definitely, definitely, I think yeah. there's a couple spots you could you could spread those out a, a touch. Um, one thing I'd also like to note about the DGB, in fact, is it's very well protected. Um, you're not going to just suicide. I mean, uh, if you just move that archer tower like here or, or just away from that spot... I think you would just make that completely pure and it's very, very well protected. You're not going to throw suicide hogs at that. Yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, th this costs a heal and uh, a giant and five hogs probably at least, to defuse yeah. it. Yeah. So, but that that's a big if. Um, this triangle is fixed, basically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. And what was next? Um, I think next are the traps, but like the small bombs. I wanted to mention uh, these small bombs over here. I mean, they're well placed against wall breakers, but what's actually the chances of someone trying to wall break a, a second layer? On Town Hall yeah. 8 with a rage spell, I've seen it happen. I didn't um, notice those to begin with, actually. But I think they're used more effectively somewhere else. Because, um, as I said, the most likely entry points are over here and over here. Like at the south, basically. I mean, that mortar is over there, so a golem would be dropped from a different angle, like more like this. And then a wall breaker would come in, like over here. So this right here would be a pretty sweet spot for a small bomb. Same story over here. You probably drop a golem like that. You'd, you'd want to take into account the splash damage over there. So in this area is a good spot, but that's a bit more tricky because the golem will most likely uh, path over. Okay. So that that would be a good spot. Yeah, absolutely. Um, 
But yeah, in general, I, I liked all these ones. Um, maybe they move this one over a touch because anything coming in is going to come, I think, through there. Uh, I guess it I guess most likely it will but... trigger. It will trigger. Either way, but yeah. It's tricky either way. I mean, there's a wizard tower over here as well. So yeah, it's, that's a good point. I wouldn't just wall break at that section. So this one might be served better elsewhere. Yeah, yeah. It's tough on a small one and sometimes. Then the last thing was uh, stuff like queen walks. Um, I mean, they're very prevalent and very important. Uh, if I were to queen... Uh, walk this as I said I would most likely queen walk this side if I were to uh, because of all of those spring traps but that air defense does really scare me so that forces me to break in somewhere over here with this cannon being there so I still think it's quite well protected um, and this side as well I can't just walk the queen because that was my very first idea because there's all the, of these army camps over here so a uh, first instinct for a queen walk is to start in this area and walk her down. Uh, but this sweeper actually perfectly prevents it, except for that it actually protects the healers from the air defense. Um, but yeah, I, the, the amount of point defense over here is forcing the rage. Uh, the sweeper is going to mess them up. Uh, I wouldn't like it. I still like the other side, even though that air defense is there, because I think I just start her around there. Uh, just, just basically to eliminate that section, get rid of that sweeper, and start working on take care of that mortar so I don't need to worry about my golems wandering, and then I would just go in something like that. You could bring a golem over here, yeah, exactly, and then bring a jump. So that's actually high value, and then you don't care about the healers anymore. No, yeah, like nice once, point. once she's done that, if she's done her job, she's going to meet up with the kill squad. You close it off and then go in with a golem and a handful of Valks with that earthquake or jump in an earthquake or and uh, or something. Yes, absolutely. But that, uh, but still, I, I think that sweeper, even though it messes stuff up, um, probably is more useful uh, somewhere else. Yeah. Um, and against the queen charge, I mean, the king is kind of exposed here. That's uh, the last thing I wanted to mention. But the queen charge, as I said, would come from this angle. And um, the issue I see with this is that there's no storage stopping her. There's only the BK. And she most likely will encounter him with only a cannon on her. Might not even need a rage for that. Might not even need a rage. Maybe only a poison. Yeah. So... Even though uh, the BK is less valuable, and I mean, you can just ignore him for most of the attacks. Um, I think he would be better served, uh, for example, inside of the base over here, um, or at the queen, even like pr uh, protect her from stuff from the outside, which in turn would allow you to have less walls in this section. So, making a stronger base on the other end. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I like that. But uh, overall, overall, I think a really good job. Um, I think we pretty much talked about how we'd attack it, right? I mean, I think Earthquake over that section is... It's the way a, to go. A unanimous decision. Um, now, so you'd have, to, you'd have to go jump Earthquake. So it's, with this base specifically, it would not be a good idea to bring something um, like a hound or a golem in your CC? Cause, no. Because then you're just giving the attacker the opportunity to bring four earthquakes, a jump, and two heals. Absolutely. You want to force the poison in this case. Yep. Yes. So the, the CC has to be small troops. Because with only one heal, I think you'd have to use it over this section, and you would still have the top section that deal with hogs. Um you would get a lot of tanking so because you'd get a lot of value out of that. Earthquake. It's tough to do, basically. I mean, it's doable, but it, it makes it hard. There's a fat chance that too many Hawks will die in that corner, and that will be the last corner alive with the, the current plan we have. Yeah. So, yeah, it's it, this is a pretty sweet trap, to be honest. Yeah, I like that corner. Definitely like that corner. I also liked how it was defending the DGB, but again, like we talked about, I think that just needs to be addressed a little bit. If you shifted, I think if you, if you if you took some of that away, I mean, not necessarily all of it, just some, and spread spread the wealth a little bit on the back end, um, you would give then you yourself, got a pretty sweet base. You'd give yourself some more room to to put some of this stuff, and then 
Yeah, exactly. Yes, imagine the queen being over here and having a wall here, and maybe even a second wall. I mean, that just eliminates most of the attack styles we just talked about. Yeah. Cool. Cool. We're I think uh, this next one. On. Yeah, I like that one. So this is a, if you're loaded up, that is. Yep, I'm good. If this is a tunnel ten, but right. uh, as you can see at the bottom, um, no extra walls used, no extra uh, collectors used, none of the extra defenses or even traps used. So this is a, t a tunnel ten building a tunnel nine. Yeah, this guy uh, said in the email he was just like, uh, you know, he was a big fan of the series and and you know was a, supported the what we do here to, for the class community. And showing these videos, and uh, yeah, I thought we'd throw this base up because he has a Town Hall 10, obviously, but uh, built a Town Hall 9 for us, so I thought this was kind of neat. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, from what I can tell, it's a pretty early Town Hall 10 as well, so that's uh, really cool to see. Yeah. Um, so, first of all, the Queen Compartment. Let's start off there. Um, the first thing I see is that she will jump over there. So if you come straight from the south, um, come through, um, she's most likely to jump that wall because uh, as long as the troops come in from the south. Uh, if they were to come in from an angle, um, she will stand in the knock over there or even um, around the wizard tower. But I don't think uh, she will jump in that case. Um, but in my opinion, for the queen, that's quite a big flaw. Yeah, I mean, it would have to be like almost the perfect angle, but it definitely can happen. I think you could bank on that on her jumping there. Yeah, I think so too. Um, now, in all fairness to what you just said, there there is quite a bit. There, you know, you would have to bring something very heavy to oh, do. Oh so. yes, absolutely. Um, but let's first stick to the queen compartment. Yes. Um, she's pretty well protected. There's storage is outside. Storage is on pretty much each side of her. So. Um, yeah, she's well protected. Once again, just like the last base, she's uh, placed very deeply into the base. That's that's one of the things I first spotted. Um, it might be more efficient to to move her up a little. Uh, I mean, the these walls over here, for example, what's their purpose except for uh, threatening a Tesla farm? I'm yeah. not too sure. I mean. There are four walls. I mean, it's only four walls, but imagine those four walls being able to close off a compartment. That would be that to me. That's a huge deal. Um, so my goal usually with walls is to try and have uh, the range of the archer queen either be just in front. I mean, before or after um, the outer wall, or if that's clear. Yeah. Um, which means that an enemy queen walk uh, is kind of hard to get to her, but maybe gets to her depending on how many storages you have in the area, or if you have a, a barbarian king and a CC in front of it. Um, if you do, uh, if you just keep that rule of thumb, uh, basically it means that you're being quite efficient with walls. Yes. So try to keep that in mind and. Um, yeah, I, th I think those walls can uh, be used very uh, easily in this space. Um, anything else about the queen compartments? <laughs> She's protected. That's, that's she is sure. very well protected. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the king is in there as well, protecting her from a walk or an entry. So yeah, I like it. Now compared to the the last, the the difference I would see between this one and the last one, um, I think the amount of defenses, though, even though the walls are a little excessive. The amount of defenses is a little more on par to having, you know, like the test, like everything else is away. Yeah, from it's that. more balanced in that case. Right. Yeah, it's, it definitely it's more is. Yeah. Yep. So about the compartments, um, I don't think we need to count this one. Um, it nope. should be around 11, 12. Looks so good. looks good. Enough compartments should hold up against uh, any go wide, pretty much. Um, is there any quakeable areas, though? been looking i don't think so nothing crazy i mean again crazy because, value jumps because if if she jumps there i mean that then this jump becomes very viable yeah so that's an issue um because 
again, because the Tesla farms there, right? So golems are going to get really, really large value there if you get those wizards down quickly behind it and that queen down. Um, you can even bounce. jump straight over this compartment all the way. Uh, yeah. That would be risky with golems rerouting that way. So I probably wouldn't do it. But uh, a jump in this section will even let a golem that's over here reroute in. Um, they they will clear it quickly. Um, most likely you're able to to support with hawks on, uh, in this section, and then Valks will just run in because all of those buildings are touching. One thing I've noticed. Uh, this is that style of base where there's larger inner compartments and then all these outer compartments are very kind of skinny and small. Um, now what I've noticed about that is they make double jump extremely, extremely overpowered. Like I think in the end, uh, looking at it, I would do that first jump, like you said, and then like a second jump over that with a bunch of dogs. And yeah, just because. It's just you get so much access to the base. Um, really, you know, your your queen and stuff's gonna get that. You just have to kind of valk or sorry, hog in and around that ring like that, and you should shouldn't have a problem. No, absolutely, and this is a perfect case of uh, surgical hogs. Like bring a giant and two hogs per defense. Um, same story in this area: two hogs per defense will most likely take out all of these outer defenses. Yeah, I mean, this is them. very, this is extremely hard to defend against. Let's just be clear. Yes. <laughs> um, but in this case, it's doable. Like, if you can take out the, this bottom section of the base, basically, um, two hogs over there as well, um, the base is toast. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Yeah. And if you look, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. All, all of those defenses, only about 16 hogs if you put two per defense. So plus two giants, let's say that's 18 hogs. That is a that very normal number for a, a shattered Govo. Yep. Yeah. Uh, um, um, any other very high value jumps we can spot? There might be this jump over here because there's a giant bomb over there, a giant bomb over here and even a giant bomb over there. The disadvantage of that is that golems will either route up down there and actually tank for the queen, or walk down, which is not a big problem either. So that jump would actually net you three giant bombs, as as well as this jump even. I mean, this artifice will most likely get taken out by a queen, um, so that would eliminate three bombs as well. I mean, this open core uh, style is very Tunnel 10-ish. I mean, I can really recognize the, the, the Tunnel 10 um, base design in here. Yeah. So the, the, the advantages of that are that the, the air defenses are very hard to queen walk. I mean, each and every one of them is out of range of a queen walk, which is very good. Um, but you can just tell the disadvantages at uh, Tunnel 9 level. Yeah, without those Infernos, Valks are very, very deadly. Absolutely. Yeah. So, next thing, uh, the air defenses. Um, these three are really close together. I mean, because they are, um, same entry, <laughs> sorry to get boring on this, yeah. but three golems in there is worth it because you're getting three air defenses. And the queen is most likely to jump. Now, if this jump is fixed... Um, because you're still getting three air defenses, it's worth it to jump, rage, and then even jump towards the queen and um, get all of it and have a risk of taking the fourth air defense out. So, um, once again, that's uh, based on the flaw of the this big compartment. And the um, positioning of the queen. But then again, just imagine this. If these walls are gone, if these walls are gone, and maybe a few extra somewhere and you were to place a wall in here, you're still very susceptible to, to the same jumps, but they're way harder to pull off, basically. Yeah. So that's just yeah, an idea. You're, yeah. you would, you're still forcing your own queen to be further out still, or have this wall fixed. Um, but you're forcing basically to, to have bad pathing for golems or uh, make it risky to come in from that angle. And to be honest, it's such a minor detail because honestly, shift that clan castle down one and put that freaking one, that wall piece down one. and Or move it up, move it up next to the queen. 
and move the sword over there. Oh, and yep. then just, Same just sword. go like that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, whatever you want to do, right? That's such a such a little tiny detail, but a major one that one literally one freaking wall piece moved and it, it makes a difference. Absolutely. Yeah. So another thing I like about the air defenses though is they're all uh, covering each other. Like this one is most likely to even cover that one. And um that that makes it very strong against lava hounds. Uh, but the disadvantage, once again, is that a queen charge or uh, a golem will get massive value on those. Yeah, now, now I wonder actually because like that is a this is a crazy entry, right? It coming, is coming in there. Yep. Would three golems push that king to the queen at the very back of that? That it's tough. That's a tough call. It, it depends. I think. I think you'd have to get a couple attempts because the CC would come out too, right? You got to deal with that. It depends on what you have in your CC. Lava Hound locking up your queen, your Archer Queen in that situation would not be, would be a good idea. Ideal, yeah. I don't know, man. That's uh, it's possible to funnel them correctly with uh, jumps, though. But okay, let's um, try to move on. Yeah. Um, this Wizard Tower is out of range. This Wizard Tower is in range of both these. Maybe even all three air defenses. So consider them moving that one. Um, with that, both of these red bombs, even though they're placed uh, nicely next to a wizard tower, uh, they're most likely to, to pop uh, with a, a lava hound passing through or uh, the pups popping them. Um, this one is most likely out of range, but it's a close call. And the Teslas, I mean, this is a sweet trap. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, th this sweeper is pointing out to defend against the queen walk in this area as well as uh, making it very hard for balloons to come in at that angle. And there's a red bomb over there as well, protecting it. I mean, there is space over here, for example. Why not double up or even triple up in this section? Just my opinion. Yeah. And um, except for that, I think uh, it's pretty well defended against the uh, Laloon attacks. Yeah, definitely. Not not walkable whatsoever. You'd have to charge nope. somewhere, but I mean, to be honest, a queen charge coming from 6 o'clock, like... <laughs> I don't know. It, that's not doable. Just know. because yeah. of the sweep and the all of the point events, sure. uh, you, yeah. you need like two rages and uh, a jump or even a quake in this section. It, it, it might be doable, but it's hard to pull off. I don't know, man. It man. forces uh, at least uh, three spells. That six is that six o'clock is deadly, but again, it's like the double-edged sword, right? Could, because it's so highly valuable, yeah, it's tough to break, but I don't know, man. A, a couple golems and a ton of Valks I, under a heel. I think they they'll, can rip through that. Yep, they'll rip through it. You would get all three air defense. You'd get all four Teslas. So air defense, uh, I mean giant bombs. Let's go. Or, and giant bombs or whatever, right? You, you just it's big value, but anyhow, uh, that's how base building always is, right? The, it, you bolster something up and you're making it more valuable, so it just makes it that much more juicy for an attacker who can pick it apart and figure out how to take that section of your base down. <laughs> yep. What I find interesting about the giant bombs in this base is you always put uh, put the two small bombs in there. Um, my uh, findings with uh, having small bombs next to a giant bomb, uh, even when it's four small bombs, if they're pre-healed and max HP, that's a big if, if they're max HP, um, four bo small bombs and one giant bomb would not take them out. So keep that in mind when placing these. Um, they're basically reinforcing your giant bomb and not actually um, functioning as a double giant bomb. No. So keep that in mind. So this uh, this should be treated as a four singles base. Um, the pathing on these um, giant bombs is kind of weird because imagine coming at the south, I mean, uh, a giant over there and a lot of hogs in this area. They will path in and path like that or path down like this. Now, um, there's a fat chance that we'll just path around that giant bomb. Yeah. Not from every single angle, um, but I think this giant bomb would be more valuable even though it's coverable with just one heal down there or, um, I mean... Right beside it too. Like yeah, right, right beside a, a defense, like over here, for example, that would work too. 
Um, I think it won't get triggered in this way. It, it's a close call once again, but you're you're gonna heal this anyway. You, you you're forced to. So in this case, the the giant bomb is straight dead smack in the heal itself. Um, the other bombs, this one's pretty good position. I mean, these hogs will path up. I mean, down towards the the wizard tower. These hogs will probably split up as well. So this is a pretty low value giant bomb as well. I'm just going to be harsh here. Mm -hmm. um, I think not all of the, the the hogs are going to path over. Now, if you move it towards there, like in this section, they will path over no matter what. So just one spot uh, towards the center of that uh, this compartment would actually uh, fix it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm terrible with, with single GBs, honestly. I don't know why. <laughs> it's tough because um, they somehow make a, a first hit easier to pull off. If you have a solid plan for the base, um, I mean, in this case, for example, you, you can spot there's only one possible spot for a double giant bomb set, and that's over here. So a first attacker is very tempted to, to come in through this compartment somehow and still take out three of the giant bombs. Yeah, and because that's the case, it makes it uh, relatively easy to triple a base on the first hit. Yeah, and just and just the, the fact of, of the Valks, I, I don't know. To me, if you can at least split up your DGBs so that Valks, a, a shattered shattered Valk entry, can't disable both, that still leaves a lot of pressure on because you don't get left with a lot of hogs. Like when you go below, you're left with what? Like anywhere I'd say between sixteen and twenty max. Yeah, something like it. And if it, sometimes it, it's really difficult for an attacker to to pull it off if um, if you have a good DGB. But I don't know. I'm just I'm maybe it's just I'm not good with four singles. I've never had a lot of luck building those bases. But to me, you need at least one DGB. Yeah, both uh, styles can work. Um, but then again, like the 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 goal of Tunnel Nine at the moment is making a first hit triple as hard as possible, uh, which basically forces you to have multiple DGB uh, possible spots. And uh, in this case, you don't really have any, to be fair. Yeah. So um, that makes it easy for a good hog attacker to to triple the base. For sure. So let's move towards the spring traps. That one's sweet. This one's sweet. Um, these ones are good as well. I mean, they're dead smack in the middle of defenses, so they will trigger a lot of hogs. This one over here, um, you need to move it over. I mean, that's let's just assume it's uh, one spot over. I mean, I think that's a, just an honest mistake. Yeah, um, too. They will most likely come in from this angle or this angle, so I, I think that should be a good spring just trap, even over, though one, one it, it's not that smack in the middle. Yeah. So I think that's still a good uh, spring trap. Even uh, although f coming from this angle, um, I don't think it will trigger hogs. But then again, as we talked about, the the angles of entry are most likely either over here, or looking at it would be probably in this section. So we're about right there. Yeah. So there, there's a big chance that that spring trap would actually be viable and trigger hogs. I mean, be careful with placing spring traps really near towards your queen, but they could be very effective. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of three in one compartment as a general rule. I try never put more than two in one. Yeah, I agree on that one. Uh, for example, down here at the south, you could probably place one. Um, I see a very sweet spot in between those, even though probably any kill squad will move into that compartment, so I wouldn't place that one. Uh, there's one over here in a different compartment. Um, there's there's a couple there's of good enough. spots. There's a lot there's of enough. spaces. I mean, as a as a first attacker, I would be kept guessing as where to where uh, the spring traps would be. So uh, I think good job on those, man. For sure. Um, any other things? Um, next would be the queen walks, I guess. Let's see. This section is obviously the most valuable, but that's very hard to pull off. I mean, yeah. the sweep is out of range, the air defense is out of range, so I think that's very well defended. I don't think you could, you could not walk basically the 
the five no you four can't or five o'clock to the seven or eight o'clock there's no way you're you're forced to come with golems in this area basically yeah unless you're comfortable with the uh, coming with a double jump and walking down mm -hmm. and then hogging this with the heel here to be honest just looking at it i think i mean queen charge wise yeah well, there's I mean, an opportunity here I actually because say, you, you come in here I was just looking at too. the top here as a queen charge. There's not a lot of point defense for her to deal with. So if you walk her into that compartment, she's obviously going to get the queen and king. On her rage. Some rage, though. Obviously, yeah. yeah. But but for overall, right, you're dealing with that. And then you, you'll you end up pulling the CC to her, and then you can send in the rest. That works. It, it gives a lot of freedom. Yeah, it does. Um, mm -mm. I was thinking about this entry from the south with the uh, wall breakers in there, okay. um, funnel so in this area, a bit. and then try to sneak in behind the sweeper, take out this air defense, take out that air defense. Um, that would allow you to come in with a, a golem breaker this wall. Uh, for example, I'm just uh, that would most likely be cleared. Um, so the wall breakers are most likely to go in here or even that corner, so I'm not sure how to do it. Okay. But you could bring in a king and with a golem and take out this section, and that would leave you open to dragon attacks. You know what I think would make this base stronger queen. looking at this? Remember you were just saying in clan chat about how you literally just moved the direction of your sweeper and it made your base quite a bit stronger? Mm -hmm. Imagine yep. if imagine if this sweeper was faced out this way. And this sweeper was where this air defense was. And you just swap them basically, right? So A, that you're you're first of all spreading that air defense away from this other one. And B, this sweeper would be targeted, say, like, I don't know, wherever however you could angle it. Something like Probably that. Probably something like that, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like that. makes sense. You need to be careful with the uh, the queen walkable uhness of that air defense, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, it sounds good. Or, or just even if you just left it and just turned that sweeper around, I don't know. Yeah, the the thing we're referencing to is uh, in our family scrim. I built a base and it got triple first hit. Yep, happens to me too. Good job, Andrew. Um, but afterwards, I changed the base up, and all I did was literally move the sweeper. Just instead of this, like it was just one tick. It, it was one. Um, yeah, just <laughs> one, switched one the side. Change. That's all I did. And it stopped a, a queen charge from the exact same angle uh, in our current war. And it gave me the defense and actually got me bullied this war. So that's really interesting. I mean, actually, that is the very reason why I'm trying to be as nitpicky as possible about your bases. I mean, if it, the angle on a sweeper of all things... Can it can mean the difference between uh, a defense and a and a hold? Yeah, everything really does help. Yeah, absolutely. So overall, I think we uh, talked about this uh, yeah. base. Well, I, I see what you mean. I, the very town hall ten esque town hall nine in front of us, but yeah, um, I like it. I mean, overall, it's different. I liked it. I think I, that's 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 why I decided to go with this one. I think because. Uh, you can tell the guy really put some thought into this one because I'm sure it has been a while since this person has built a Town Hall 9. So hats off, man. Good base. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, even details as this expo, it's out of range of Queen Walk. I mean, it's small details, but those can make the difference between uh, a Queen Walk working or not. I mean, yeah. I love it. I say that's a good point. With all that air defense, you, you wouldn't even want to ground that expo. Oh, this one is grounded. This one's so, grounded, making yeah. it worse. Like a uh, queen in here is taking two expos and point defense. Yeah, wow. <clears throat> so All good right. job there, man. Awesome. So you want to uh, wrap this one up? Yeah, I think so. I think we uh, talked about them, good bases, and uh, keep uh, sending them in. I mean, it's details, but... That's the difference between holding like two or three times and uh, getting bullied like uh, I did last or. Yeah, well, and, that, and that's the whole purpose of us doing this. It, it's um, obviously so you guys can just think about that extra detail when you're building your base. You, you know, uh, eventually you start looking at when, when you're building a base and, and you're just like, wait, no, I can't put that there or I shouldn't put that there. And 
whatever you know we can pass on even if it's just something small as small as changing the direction of your sweeper that's what we're hoping to do with this stuff so really hoping you guys appreciate it Caddick, thanks for coming out again man you're welcome man i think we'll wrap this up though that'll do it for your wisdom from wiser just trying to help a bag that next tree start till then we're out.